What's going on everybody? This is the Silent Gamer and this is the Silent Sports Network and we're going to give you a small snippet of what we do on our first and frame rates podcast. My phone's going off. Okay, whatever. Um if you haven't checked out the podcast, you can just check the channel. We talk about all t- type of different topics, but today we both got off work and we were eager to download NBA Live 18, the demo. Yep. And we both got a, a New Zealand account. We accessed the uh, the demo, and we've been playing it. And we're going to give you our first impressions. I'm not going to say anything right now. I'm going to let Bills take it because he's actually played um, more of the Drew League and the Play Now stuff, so he knows about that end. And for me, I'm going to talk about the the one or the my player aspect because I played that. So you're going to get a diverse uh, aspect of the game. But yep. I'm going to let him go first. Um, if you want to introduce yourself, you can let everybody know who you are and just go right in, man. I mean, yeah, most of y'all know who I am if y'all watched the you know, podcast in the past. I'm Bill's fourth YouTube commentator slash, you know, sim gamer. Um, you know, we dug into Live 18, and he played The Rise, like I said, and I played Drew League. I haven't left Drew League since I turned this game on. And that was around probably 7.30. I mean, this game has so much depth. I mean, we can't even go into it in crazy detail. You're going to have to watch the next podcast. But just initial impressions, this game is so smooth. This game has so many new animations, um, so much freedom when you're dribbling. You have the ability to finish at the basket with no suction or anything like that. You can block shots on the way to the basket and it feels responsive the dribbling is the best I've played in a video game off rip and the defense is much improved so I mean I th- this game is blowing me away right now man I mean you, you can take it away because I there's too much stuff for me to even talk about no we can get into a little bit of that stuff but um, since you just laid the groundwork from what you're going to say or oh, not what you're going to say but how you feel about the game we're going to jump back into that shortly but I'm just going to give you what I felt as playing the rise I created a player and first and foremost I did not like the cutscenes I was getting pissed and Bills will tell you because we were talking prior <laughs> to us doing this it, 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 that right there just pissed me off because I just got off work I'm, I'm ready to play I'm somewhat Amp because I'm, I'm I'm more amp that I actually got the download and not because I got to play it because I, mm-hmm. I, I I kept I I stayed reserved I did not want to be disappointed I saw what Live 16 did I I wanted them to build on Live 17 but once I got past those cutscenes and watching Stephen A and all that and I actually got into the to the league to actually play on the blacktop or the 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 gym or whatever you want to call it one thing that stood out for me is when I control the ball, and I think that's what Live wants you to do. They want you to be intuitive and wants you to play. When I'm controlling the ball, the game feels fantastic. I, yep. And I'm not saying this just to be dicking around or anything like that. That's this, not who we are. This, no, that's never who we are. If you listen to anything what we do, it, that's, that's what it is. This game, and people know who who follow me on Twitter know that I put Live 15 in high regard as far as playing the game, as far as the NBA Live series go. I always thought it was really good, as well as Live 10. Live 18 has taken that and just raised it high to the point where this game could possibly be a great alternative to NBA 2K. I, I, I'm just, I agree. Yeah, I'm sitting here playing this game. Everything that I've been wanting has been put back in this game. I'm looking at the dribbling, the manual bounce pass. My God, that's back in the game. Manual bounce pass, and people know how bad I wanted that. Um, The layups off the glass, not only that they're just off the glass and going into the bucket, they're going off the rim. Sometimes you're actually missing layups that go off the glass. And the misses are absolutely unpredictable. Yeah, and, 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 and the only way you can combat that is you actually have to lay the ball up right. The buttons, yep. are, the buttons are pressure sensitive, so you mm-hmm. have to time the shot right. You are, and, and if you want to play with the, le- the right stick, you can lay up off the right stick as well. Yep. And, and that is also pressure sensitive. It's timing. It's timing based. The defense is legit. You cannot yep. throw the ball in passing lanes. And Bill's going to talk about that shortly, about how he felt about throwing the ball in the passing lanes. Um, also, 
the pick and roll is smooth, but I didn't have the um real uh what you call? I didn't have the option to move the picks from side to side. I didn't see them, but yeah, you can, I have to figure out how to do that because I'm pretty sure you could do it in live sixteen. I just forget how to do it. They might have changed it. Yeah, but if you hold, if you press the L three button, you can use the pick or pop. Yep. You can you can change that. But the pick and roll works very well. But you have to be careful when you're passing the ball out of a pick because these guys on defense have very high awareness. I mean, and it's not awareness to the point where you feel like, oh, they're mimic, they're you're psychic, or they're mimicking your moves. You literally have to know that your guy is open prior to you to uh, passing the ball. The, mm -hmm. sh the shot mechanics, once again, the ball physics to rim. The ball don't go straight into the rim. The ball nope. goes around the rim. Sometimes, like I said, there you can do a bank shot, and the bank shot will you can miss those at times. Mm -hmm. Um. And I, with just those small things, like I said, the the bounce passing, the laying up off the um, backboard is fantastic. And not only that, laying up off the backboard and you can still miss. Yeah, yep. people are gonna say, "Oh, you're not supposed to miss a layup." Well, people do that. <laughs> it, it That's what, what happens. You you, you 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 miss layup sometimes. You can feel like you got it right, and you can miss a layup. Um, and the animations of the layups, up and unders under the rim, up and unders with other players. And the ball isn't going through people's arms either. By the way, these animations make sense for how the shots being no, no, contested. No, absolutely. So um, I mean, if you're going up for a layup on the right side, and your guy. That is defending you happens to be in position. He's gonna block that shot nine out of ten times. Right, in 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 the up and unders, you can do you can adjust your layups or dunks, and you have situations where you can go up under the players that are defending you. Absolutely, I, I I'm I'm literally I'm highly impressed Same. with what they did, and I know it's been two years. Yeah, we should be impressed. Oh yeah. Okay. With that being said, I'm impressed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not only that, the most important thing, I'm going to give y'all a tip for when y'all play this demo. Just just take this as free advice. In order to have the best perception of this game, movement-wise, put the game speed up to 100. If you put the game speed up to 100, your guys will be a lot more responsive and the animations won't move as slow. The default speed is kind of slow. So I will say that. Put the game speed up to 100. Okay. Other than that, you don't have to adjust anything. Yeah, well, for me, I kept the game speed the same, and I got a pretty good experience. I do agree with the game speed slow. It, it could be a situation where you feel like the game doesn't feel like a basketball game. We know basketball is, is a fairly fast sport. And so I, I get it, but I got a really good experience with that. So that's my first impressions. If I could take anything, honestly, anything negative from it, Jakeem Noah, we had a double block when going down on a fast break. I blocked the shot, and, and Jakeem Noah blocked the shot as well. So it's like it went like ping pong off each other's hands on the block. Now his hand did go through the backboard once that ball was blocked. Now the ball didn't go through, but his hand and his wrist went through the backboard when the ball went out of bounds. I mean, if you want to nitpick about that, make 17 videos about it. I don't care. All that matters for me, I'm enjoying myself, and I'm going to kick it to Bills, and we're just going to we're going to close it out from there because we're not going to hold you guys up too long. Bills, give everybody your impressions about the the Drew League, just like I gave the impressions about the the rise in my player. Yeah, I mean, you can feel the difference between each player. There are dribble moves that are specific to each player. There are layups that are specific to each player. The size-ups are crazy deadly. Step-backs are crazy, crazy deadly. I mean, if you, follow, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably saw some of my videos. I dropped... I absolutely dropped James Harden with a step back, and it was perfect timing. I didn't even know what I was doing, and I just did it, and I pumped fake because I didn't even know that I had done a step back, and then I shot, and everything felt so responsive. Everything in this game is up to you. You choose when you branch off an animation into a jump shot. You choose when you go from a size up into a step back. You choose all of that. There is no suction to bail you out. There's no suction to screw you over. And as far as passing lanes is concerned, like I talked about before, several things. First thing, you cannot throw the ball 
with your momentum going in the opposite direction. No. It will have no steam on it. It'll it'll either it'll either go over your teammate's head or it'll go right into one of the opponent's hands because oh, it'll might, have it, no it, steam. It, it, it. it might not even make it to your teammate. Exactly. It might not even make it to your teammate. The way they pick the ball up when there's a loose ball is beautiful. Once again, no suction, no sliding. The animation makes sense. I've had several situations where a guy will try to pick the ball up. He might be a step or two to the left or the right of it, and then another guy will come and try to throw it off of him. That type of stuff is great. Um, weight and momentum but, matters. I weight didn't, and momentum. I, 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 I didn't post this, but I, I was tempted to post, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out the way. There were times where you drive to the rim, and if you're not strong enough, you're going to get pushed out of the paint trying to drive, Absolutely. and it's going to force you to a wonky layup. Now, if yep. you got the leverage, you can get around that player, which is another thing that they've done very well. Driving to the rim, getting around your player, the momentum actually matters. It, it got to the point where I'm, we're so used to just saying the whole animation must play out. Exactly. No, you have to continue to use the left stick to move as if you're moving your player to you lay the ball You can control up. every part of that interaction from the moment he bumps you into a step back, into a spin, into you driving yourself out of bounds because you continue to go that way thinking you're going to beat him to the edge. I've done that several times now. What? I thought, oh, the animation is going to have to play out. One no, more you thing. control that. One more thing. The pick and roll. If you get a big man... Oh, that boy. can pick a smaller guard. Oh man, man, he's going to get floored. I, I, it's another thing I didn't post, but man, I, I we were playing. And I literally jumped out of my seat. I mean, I made I was just flabbergasted by how the way um, it was Blake Griffin straight yep. bulldoze some Joe Blow guard that was on the other team. I don't know his name. I think his name was like Ricky No Hands, whatever. Mm -hmm. And. Um, <laughs> He just got laid out. Pick and roll. I, I passed it to him. Nice looking dunk. Yep. You guys, I mean, any, anything else you want to say before we close The only this out? other thing I was going to talk about was um, the passing lanes specific to each player. So here's the thing, people. These players all look, feel, and react like NBA players. But certain NBA players we know play the passing lanes better than most. Russell Westbrook plays the passing lanes like a free safety in cover two about to jump a post route. It is insane. This dude will literally take steps back to bait you into throwing a pass and come and intercept it. Then on top of that, his momentum carries him down the court. Nobody can catch him. There's not that fake speed up cheese where they catch you on the fast break. He takes off. He's free on the fast break. It's a layup on the other end. Do not... Do not carelessly throw a pass in West Russell Westbrook's territory. I guarantee you. And this is my AI teammates that were doing this. So your AI teammates are very smart on defense. And I'm playing on Superstar. I'm not getting screwed at all. They're all playing, moving, and feeling like NBA players. I'm getting my ass kicked right now. I haven't beat the computer yet. And I'm happy about it because I need to learn how to play the game. Now That's me, all I can say. Now, for me, I, I, I lost my first game on um... – I think it was at uh, on the Drew, not Drew League, but my first game, wherever it was, but the second one on the Venice Beach, I won. And like I said, I think they cater to you. They want you to play. They want you to run point because if you let the AI run point, they're going to get the ball taken from them, and it's going to get frustrating. That's yep. one of my gripes about it. And like the other thing I said, the Joaquin Noah hand going through the backboard that, you know, a lot of people in the community will do it. Oh, it's clipping, oh, whatever. It didn't It didn't affect the play or anything like that. But um, I don't know what else to say. I'm good. I think we're coming up to the 15-minute mark. I don't want to yep. keep, you know, us going like we could go or like how we're doing our podcast. Tune in next Tuesday if you want to hear our full – Impresses of this game because we'll have a lot more time you, to you, play. You mean you mean Wednesday, right? Next Wednesday. Wait, no, <laughs> wait, no, no. Next Tuesday. What you doing Tuesday? That's what we do on Tuesdays. We do the podcast we, on Tuesday. Yeah, we, up, we yeah we upload on Wednesday. We're uploading Wednesday, but well, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. You got me. You got me. Well, anyway, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, Tuesday, I mean, un, uh, I mean, until we decide to go live, which you yeah, know, right, we, we're, yeah. we're we're going to go there eventually. But you know, that's right. behind the scenes talk. But as of right now, this but is how we're on Wednesday. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we're we're going to be up Wednesday, and uh, 
um, like I said, I hope you guys really get some information about this. I know it sounds like we're fanboying. I mean, whatever we call it, how we see it. This game is 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 right now as of right now is legit. Yeah. Um, they have a special going on right now. You can buy the game for forty dollars. I'm not going to tell you right now it's worth it because I only played a few hours of it. But um, this this so far this is a really really good iteration of NBA Live. Yep. Uh, what last words for the third time? Last, and then we're gonna words, be <laughs> last words are try this game. It's a Period. demo. It's a demo. It's free. Try it. All right. Make a New Zealand account if you if you want to if you want to try this game early before tomorrow. Make a New Zealand account. Go online. Um, go on the PS4. I'll give you a quick tutorial. Basically, go on the PS4. Create a new account. You're gonna go in. You're gonna put. 1010 for your zip code. You're going to put Auckland, New Zealand for your address. And and, and and just putting your email and go into the store and look up demos. Yeah, it'll be right there. All right, so um, that's about it. And like I said, it sounds like we're fanboying, but we're not going to tell you nothing wrong. The game is playing pretty good. Um, we like it so yourself. far. Yeah, see for yourself. If things change, we feel different. By Wednesday, you would know. But, that's, yeah. but this is our first impressions, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys take care. Peace. Peace.